We just finished watering the garden and everything is really like maybe 75% bloomed out now. And we still have a whole nother succession of zinnias, morning glories, and other vining plants. Today I went to Walmart and I picked up some new pink polka dot flowers as well as some other varieties. And so I thought I'd show you that. I think this makes a very lovely display. In my little wagon wheel area. I can do a close up if you'd like. Pretty right, it's little vining plants. Hot pink and then the white and pink polka dot. Just so pretty. And these as well, really gorgeous. It's harder to see these because they kind of hang upside down. That's just darling, right? And we have our fire bushes. I put in a single seed right in the center of this area. I'm not sure what kind I planted. I think it was a yellow sunflower, but we'll see together. Look at the size of this leaf. Isn't that spectacular? I just love it so much. Even though it's not even bloomed yet, I love it. <laughs> Cosmo, striped Cosmo. Who doesn't love a striped cos Cosmo? Seriously. 82 degrees. Right up here is our first, second succession of sunflowers. Let me move that so you can see. Isn't that pretty? Isn't she so pretty? Ooh, something bit the top of the petal. That's interesting. Down here, we had cleaned out all of the poppies and overgrowth. And then I gave you guys my tall tale of, if you don't want to warp your wood, do not grow poppies right on the edge because when you water them, it will warp it. So this is what it happened after. So you don't want to do that to your garden beds. So note to self, poppies do not go at the edge of a wooden raised garden, unless you want warped wood. These other varieties haven't bloomed yet. And this whole corner has been blooming nonstop for the past month and a half. Now we have those two yellows on the left corner top. Those are a new variety to that corner. We've got our Autumn Beauties, all different colors. Autumn Beauty sunflowers, you guys. So lovely. <laughs> pretty, right? Really pretty. This was like the perfect time of day to show you guys what's going on here because you can get a really true feel of what the colors are when the sun is not right in your face. Our Snapdragon area is just starting to take off. You can see a few yellow snappies. They're pretty, right? And I'll zoom out so you can kind of get a picture of all of the blooms before I zoom in. We've got like a 16 foot sunflower right in the center. It's taller than our house almost and hasn't bloomed yet. So I'm gonna borrow a ladder on Saturday night um, and try to take some photographs early Sunday morning as the sun's coming up of me on a ladder with the sunflower that is like Jack and the Beanstalk high. And then there's one on the right that's growing about the same. Now, if this was the morning, you would see a giant blue morning glory. I'm just gonna add that to the end of this video, perhaps. We'll see. I might make it its own. How about we make it its own video so that this one doesn't have to be chopped? I'd rather do that. So I will send you a morning glory video, maybe tomorrow morning, so that you guys can see that as well. Because there's so many morning glories, that's a true chocolate sunflower. So you can see the morning glories pretty much because there's so many different colors. 
Yes, this is a fake fence, but I did add real morning glories to it. And you can tell because right here, one's supposed to open tomorrow. They told me, said, I'm supposed to open tomorrow. Come take a video of me. Here is our little teddy bear sunflower. The other ones have come and gone and this one looks a lot more wild and wispy. Coreopsis ever and always. More snapdragons. That color is really fabulous. It's hard to zoom in on because it's so pretty. <sighs> Look at the echinacea, you guys. Isn't it stunning? Just wow. Special thank you for the Fresh Flower Market Cut Fresh Daily from one of my customers today. And I don't know if she'd want her name mentioned, so I'm not gonna say it, but you know who you are. Thank you for this little sign. I absolutely love it. It's perfect. It fits everything so perfectly. And I appreciate you so much. One of our dahlia bushes, hot pink variety is opening. And then the Cosmos looking fabulous and in your face, these pinks. Little angel winged begonia that could, she's just getting started. How about a sweet William right next to the sign? Isn't that precious? And here is a bunch of different varieties of sunflowers. There's weeds in here. There's a little bit of everything. There's some grass. I'm leaving it because the chipmunks then and squirrels can't get to this area. So this is staying as is for probably another two to three weeks. When everything looks strong enough to be on its own, I will take this netting off. They really enjoy this area is the reason why. This right here is a strawberry patch. We haven't seen any strawberries yet, but we're really enjoying the leaves. There's even a reddish leaf. And Paul said that he just really doesn't want me to do anything to that because it's just, it's special, you know? I think this is a peony, I'm not sure, but I did plant something early spring and it hasn't been growing, so I moved it, think, hoping, hoping and praying this would be a better spot in the garden. We'll just wait and see. These are interesting. They look like little pumpkins from outer space <laughs> before they open. They are called Love in a Mist. Really interesting, right? And then right here is what I promise I will show you, maybe in a video in the morning, the stunning blue and pink morning glories. This is called a jasmine vining plant and she is just so fabulous and I have her paired with some of that stuff that I can never remember the name of God bless Kurt I can't remember the name but God bless Kurt when you know you know um, God bless Cosmos and then more morning glories that will open in the morning. Now here's where it gets interesting. I don't know what you can see and can't see because the lighting. So maybe if I back up slightly, I don't know how much of the color you'll truly pick up at this time of day. But these are some true orange sunflowers. These ones are orange and yellow. Then we have some straight up yellows. This is that sunflower that goes like 16 feet tall. We have some firecracker sunflowers. They're so pretty. And then a new yellow. This is a multi-headed yellow. Ooh, and there's a bumblebee that's still hanging out. How fun. So, what else? The center area has my favorite cherry rose sunflower on it. I will show you an up close of that. And then this is our new garden bouquet for 2023. And she is paired with Cosmos, Zinnias, and three different types of morning glories. In addition, 
there is a cherry rose sunflower on the inside of this. My favorite color sunflower of all time, the buttercream yellow edges with pink in the middle. Cherry rose, everybody. You see how fun and creative nature is? You see how these blooms, you see how these split second morning glories are trellising up? I wanted it to be just like that. In my mind's eye, it was just like that. And it's been just like that. So, I don't have much more to say. I'm going to, now that I've watered everything and everything's kind of solid for the evening, I'm gonna go ahead and grab a little, I don't know, a little tool to undo everything that fell over so it's still fluffy for um, growth. I don't want anything laying on its side because it will stay there. And if it gets stuck staying there, then you're gonna have the problem of trying to stake up a garden area that's already blocked off. That's gonna be quite difficult. So I'm going to take care of that now. This morning glory grew out of nowhere and I have wrapped her around and she is fixing a bloom. I have wrapped her around our water fountain. That's not a real plant, but what if that Wigeria was real? Wouldn't that be amazing? But that's okay, I didn't have to tell you that. I could have been like, that ring is real. <laughs> so here we are, Hope Garden 2023 at dusk, and it's looking like a very, very, there's Paul. He is <laughs> doing yard work ever and always in the front. And um, it's looking like a very heavenly picture. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a picture of this and I will catch you guys in the next video. It is evergreen for him. Make it evergreen for you too. I bless you in Jesus name to go be a blessing. Bring someone good news and be good news. And I pray that today you hear the best news ever. Meanwhile, back at the farm, it's time for some pictures. Bye guys.